G'day folks, and thank you for taking the time to tune the dial to Rex Hunt Fishing Adventures. And this week is part two of our special look at the Wessel Islands. Come on, I'm sure you'll enjoy it with me. in there, mate. Ooh. Ooh, this is the spot. <laughs> this thistle weight's brought us in here in one of the boats and dropped us off on the beach here on March and Bar Island in the Wessels. And he tells us there's a little mangrove lined creek just over the back here that hardly anybody knows about. Bit of a secret spot, Bushy. Uh, it was a secret spot, Steve. I'll see if we can fix that. Now, you stay and talk to the folks. Uh, I'm go you stay and talk to the... Right, it's pretty clear, mate, but there's not a lot of water here. You reckon we might have to go up a bit further to find enough of a hole. What we're going to do, we're going to work our way up this little creek. Viv tells us that there's mangrove jacks and cod, and maybe even the odd small barra in here. I've got a bait caster and a fly rod. What do you got, Bushy? I think I'll just stick with the bait caster. I get in enough trouble with that, I think, up here. <laughs> well, maybe we should have a few casts here before we move on, though. There's not a lot of water, but it could be enough. Let's have a go. There. <laughs> a little fell off. We might go a bit further up and look for a big one. Now I've just thrown the lure right in behind that tree and I've caught a little jack and I reckon that there might be another one in there. So all we've got to do is lay the lure right up hard against that little tree into that deeper water. I reckon we'll get one for you. I hope. Oh, there's some bait in there. Well, it was pretty close to where the tree went in the water. I've just caught the tree root. Hang on, Bushy. Let me Stevie. Have you, you reckon that'd be the spot? Yeah, I can see about three in there. That's it. I bet you one eats that. Yep. He's got oh! it. Oh, he had it. I'm going to have another shot in there. I love it when Bushy's lure is stuck in the tree and I get a free shot into the good spot. Or up the tree. Or up the tree. <laughs> If at first you don't succeed. That's the one, six inches from where my lure was. He's got it, he's, oh, Whoa. they're all over it. Yeah, give it a twitch. I've got oh, look, it. they're everywhere in there. It's <laughs> been about six jacks eat that line. They're pretty small, yeah, aren't they? Yeah, the little fellas, but still, it's great to see such a oh, healthy yeah. system. <laughs> no, you don't, can't go in and get it yet. That's the one, that's the one. This is going to catch one. One more cast up along these mangroves. Yes, yes, <laughs> that's a slightly better jack. Oh. Well, it took a few casts, but I finally found a slightly, ooh, a slightly larger fish. There's a lot of little mangrove jacks in this creek. Smaller than this guy, this fella's not real big, but he absolutely nailed that little Tilson when I threw it right up against the timber over there, against the roots of the mangroves. <laughs> it's great to see. We've seen some much bigger fish. Bushy just had something swirl behind his lure there a few minutes ago that would have eaten this for breakfast. So, uh, this secret creek is uh, starting to live up to its reputation. Hopefully, we'll connect with something a bit bigger. 
just get this bloke back in the water. Come on, mate. There you go. Aren't they great fish at any size? <laughs> well, isn't that always the way? We went up there into the creek, into Viv's secret spot, and we got a couple of jacks, but we just didn't get the big ones that we went there for. And as the tide bottomed right out and then started to come back in, we decided we'd better get out of there. And we came out here to the creek now, and we're just having a look around on the sand flats. Bushy's wandered off about a kilometre down the beach. And I thought, no, no, the creek mouth's got to be the spot with the run out tide. Sure enough, I saw this fish cruising down the flats, dropped the fly in front of it, and it's a beautiful queen fish. It nailed the fly without any hesitation whatsoever. And this is my favourite kind of fishing. Up to my ankles in warm water on clean sand, casting at fish that I can see swimming around. It just doesn't get any better than this, especially on the fly rod. Oh, what a lovely fish. He was swimming through water not much deeper than I'm standing in, about where he's swimming right now, just enough to cover his back. I could see the tip of his tail and the tip of his dorsal fin just carving along through the water. And I dropped the fly in front of him and he said, I'll have that. Bang. Uh, come on, mate, I'm gonna let you go. Ooh. Uh, oh, they're a great fish. Look at that. Ooh. When I saw him swimming along, I wasn't 100% sure what he was. I thought he could have been a threadfin salmon or anything. The most important thing is to get the fly in there quickly and strip it and hope for the best. And uh, this bloke left me in no doubt that he wanted the fly. I'm going to get that out of there now. There we go, the fly's out. Nice thing about fly fishing, just a single hook. I'll swim him in the water here to revive him a little bit, but he's certainly ready to go. Just make sure that he's okay and I'll release him. And that's what I saw as he came down the flat, about what you can see there as that fish swims off. I don't know what this is, but it's fun casting at these shapes out here. We've come out from the front of the creek and these sand flats have got a mile of fish on them. And what I've got here just was a shape going along the outside of the sandbar. I've thrown my little lure out at it. Oh, it's just a little, a little GT over the sand. Here he goes. I'll tell you what, that's added a pretty fair dimension to a creek expedition. That's a lot of fun. Not much better things to do than walk around in knee deep water and cast at these things. Side casting, that's just fantastic. Just small fish, but before you cast, that's, a, that's just great. Right, there he goes. What'd you have, Bushy? A uh, little GT. Nice one? Just a, it was really nice to watch out and just see him go past, though. Just on the shallow sand, just cast the lure in front of him. Bang. I got a queenie as well. What do you got there? <laughs> Next cast, oh. after I let the one go. <laughs> the old bar tail flathead. We come all the way to the tropics and you catch a flathead, that'd be right. <laughs> I think that might be nature's way of telling us to go home. Viv's just brought the boat in on the, uh, the beach up here and I reckon uh, I can just about smell dinner cooking back on the swordfish. Let's get going, mate. That was a nice little session. 